Hi, I'm Dumbo Dan from SampleLibraryReview.com, and I'm very excited today. We're going to be checking out the Oliver Arnold's Chamber Evolutions from Spitfire Audio. Spitfire Audio once again is teamed up with BAFTA award-winning Icelandic composer Oliver Arnold. In case you missed it, there was the Oliver Arnold's Evolutions, which first came out. I did a review to that. I'll try to remember to include a link to take you over to check that out. Um, then there was the Oliver Arnold's Composer Toolkit, and now a whole new set of Chamber Evolutions from the great guys over at Spitfire using their Evo Grid technologies. This library is made with samples unique to the composer's stylistic choices. So I'm just basically going to try to dig in today and check out what the library has to offer. This is a first look, so uh, be sure to check the official walkthrough videos. There's some other in-action videos by all the crew over at Spitfire that'll give you all the technical details if you'd like. This is just a first look for me to share with you what it sounds like out of the box. Oliver Arnold's Chamber Evolutions downloads is just under 20 gigabytes of losslessly compressed audio. It's sampled from a small string ensemble with uh, four violin ones, three violin twos, three violas, three celli, and three basses. It was recorded at Air Studios, which many of the developers' libraries have been uh, recorded there, so it'll blend really nicely, I bet. It's a wide range of evolving one-note phrases uh, mapped across the keyboard so you can play it chromatically. Organized in the Evo Grid engine, if you're not familiar with this, I'll get into some of the details about using this. It's a contact player instrument, means compatible with the, both the full and the free version of contact. Normally sells for 299 US dollars. At the time of putting this video together, it was on a special intro price for 219. I'll be sure to include links to both Spitfire as well as over to Sample Library Reviews, all of her Arnold's Chamber Evolutions page, where we'll have any of the official demos, all the official videos, and any other uh, review videos we find around the web in case you want to dig deeper. All right, pulling up Contact here. I've got uh, the latest version of Contact updated, and I've got the... Oliver Arnold's Chamber Evolutions. It's a contact player instrument. It loads right into your libraries tab here and it features uh, grid bases, bases, waves, chamber grid, and chamber waves. Now, the first thing you're going to ask, which is the first thing I ask, which is what are these different evolutions all about? Uh, there's referred to some of them as waves and some of them as feathering. The waves, the um, official page says that waves are notes that move along with a wave-like dynamics, appearing from nothing, swelling, then dying again to nothing. And these are accessible through the classic interface as opposed to the grid interface. So here's the waves with the classic interface, and I'll just play these so we can take a listen. And as you could see, we've got a variety of articulations. Uh, those are all down here on the keyboard. Um, I think it's a little low. I almost always scoot these up for my tastes with using uh, Spitfire libraries. I went one too far. And then eventually I'll program everything into a controller so I don't have to think about it. So we've got long, longest, long, short. So here's some long. I'll play through these articulations just so you can hear all of them.
this it looks like a pretty uh, length variety. Um, got uh, long notes, trims, and some vibrato on there. And uh, let's. I want to just take a listen to the close mics here. We'll listen with uh, these trims, longest trims. So already I can see there's a nice bit of stereo texture with just the close and the stereo mics. And the tree mic. You know, I think I might have read this, but I'm actually thinking this as I'm listening back. Uh, these remind me of the chamber strings, and I'm wondering if it's the same setup. Uh, I know it's the same, I believe it's the same hall, and might be the same exact uh, seating arrangement. So uh, so that's, that's an idea of what the waves, let's move along, I don't, the grids. Now, this is the Evo grids. This is the part of the library that I most often think I'll be using because these are pegs that you can move around. And as you can see, it's changing the color of the keyboard, indicating where your peg is. And each of these colors is a designated section. So the first one is a subtle. So right now it's subtle one all the way across the keyboard. See, we got six different subtles. The only thing I wish is I could just click and drag for each of these. I know there's individual NKIs for each of these, but I would just like to be able to click and drag. Now, the nice thing about these is they can just keep going and sustaining for you. All I've done is pull down my dynamics and my expression. Part of the great part of the EVO engine is you can randomize the different evolutions across the keyboard. So even though they're all yellow, um, this chunk here it's going to be a different sample set than this chunk here. So let's listen to just those. a couple times by uh, a few different uh, composers like why do I love the Evo grid and I'll tell you why I personally love it it's because if you're doing any kind of scoring to picture where the director says do something 
but don't say anything. I don't want the music to be saying anything. Then when I'm thinking about that, I'm like, how do I do that? And that's this kind of technique of having evolving, sustained uh, chords you can build. Textures from the strings can do that. Here's a randomize with the trills. See, all I'm really doing is moving dynamics expression with uh, some held notes. I'm getting quite a variety. Episodic. And these are particularly of interest to me because of, I'm a pretty big fan of Oliver Arnold's scores. some uh, one note movements with chords to uh, kind of build that. It's a collection of dissonance, which I'm excited to explore. One note like that could be so effective. And then there's a couple different random eyes with visible. So now it's just whatever we could see here. It's just a, a lot of fun to play these because uh, it's just so beautiful. for hours. Um, oh, I didn't mean to push that. Come on, go away. 
let's go ahead and jump into the uh, base grid. Let's take a listen to this. This is the other main uh, NKI. And this one's set up with our, where's our key switches? Oh, sorry. There are no key switches. I'm, I was thinking of the waves. Okay. So let's go ahead and uh, let's listen to this. This is our subtle main. Looks like we don't have all the articulations we did, and we don't have any randomization. Uh, so here's another subtle. So with, um, with his expertise, he I imagine he's selected and found that uh, so much movement in your mid and high range is much more effective and that your low can only do so much. That's what I'm guessing. Then we should have trims. One set of trims for the base. tuning and this should be our uh, dissonance just the close and stereo mics. For some reason, I kind of thought I'd hear more now yeah, let's see these trims. I thought we'd hear it just a little closer up. I'll have to look to see if there's some photos of the uh, close mics on stage with the, the uh, performers. There we go. Yeah, that's what I was expecting. It was really... Bouncing waves. Here are the bass waves. So this is set up the uh, same way. Just gonna, there we go. We've got uh, longest. Different length trims. OK, 
Okay, two things before uh, we wrap it up. The first thing I want to show you is the advanced. There's some other patches here for the waves where they've taken the whole notes and eighth notes and turned those into tempo sync so you could know your exact duration. I'm not quite sure why they didn't do whole notes, half notes. Um, they went straight to whole notes and quarter notes, sorry. Yeah, so we got uh, just a smaller selection for the waves, tempo synced, and then the same for the basses, I believe, but you don't have those um, vibratos. You only have the tremolos and holes, so well, that's, uh, that's nice to know. And then, of course, they've got all of those broken out individual individual I, NKIs. Uh, and the other, all of the samples that we've listened to from the grids are all broken out so you could see what you've actually got here is sol tosto with uh, different designations ord long wave ponticello pulse trem then a little further down you even get into what they call wow effect so one way to kind of get to know everything in the library is to kind of go through each of those evolutions and learn them one of the other things is uh, that I mentioned is I wish there was a way to click and load all of these at once or click and drag. It would have been neat to drag and make shapes, but there is a click, shift click, or actually it's command click, and that'll load up them on the column you select. So um, I miss informed you a little earlier, and I, I just kind of came back to me, as you might guess. Uh, I go through a lot of sample libraries, so um, forgive my user error on that. I really enjoyed checking out all of our Arnold Chamber Evolutions. I'd love to hear your thoughts. Are you using other Spitfire Evolution libraries? And if so, uh, what are your favorite ones? I'd love to hear just like kind of a consensus. Which ones you use the most? Which ones you like? Please comment in the description below. Like, share, and subscribe. Love your support. And be sure to head over to samplelibraryreviews.com for the latest news, reviews, and our weekly deals page.